Well, one of the world's most significant and impactful authors marks a big milestone today. Alex Haley would have turned 100 years old. Born in the West in West Tennessee, he eventually moved to East Tennessee, where he made a huge impact on our region. And photojournalist William Winnett and reporter Malik Jackson have more on the man whose roots run deep in Tennessee. There's a saying in Africa that when an old man dies and an old woman would be as well, it is as if a library has burned to the ground. Alex Haley adopted Knoxville as his home in 1982 after visiting the Museum of Appalachia. <laughs> Writer of works such as the autobiography of Malcolm X and Superfly TNT. Haley's 1976 novel Roots, the saga of an American family, would be turned into a television miniseries, which garnered more than 130 million viewers. For African Americans, it has given us a sense of feel and a sense of pride about ourselves. With Roots, Haley hoped to bring about cultural understanding. And you think of a higher calling? Then if you could maybe in, improve understanding between peoples, I don't know anything on earth you could do more important than that. You, I, anybody else. Haley passed away on February 10th, 1992, but his influence would not be forgotten. He reached out to all of us, black and whites. He really did. Okay. And we're really going to miss him. He was just one of the ones that showed that Wherever you're from, you can stand up and feel good about yourself because first, you are a person. Prior to his death, Haley donated his notes, his research, and much more to the University of Tennessee's Graduate Library. And in 1998, Haley was forever immortalized in East Knoxville's Morningside Park. At this time, you don't think of differences, but you think of togetherness. It's a, a legacy for Alex, but it's a legacy for everybody. A legacy that will continue on for generations, right here in Knoxville. Yeah, I was driving one day in Los Angeles, and I saw on a bumper sticker ahead of me the words, find the good and praise it. And I believe in that. So I guess what I would like to be most remembered for is the fact that in my writing, in my efforts, as much as I could, I tried to find the good and praise it. Alex Haley was a great friend of John Rice Irwin, who's the founder of the Museum of Appalachia. His daughter, Elaine Irwin Meyer, shared with us that he misses Haley very much. She tells us one thing he always did when they were out to eat was to eat off of everyone else's plate. He would let everyone else order and say he wasn't very hungry, and then when the food came, he would start tasting everybody's food. <laughs> His fork darting from plate to plate, the food that he liked, then he would eventually order for himself. They said it happened every time, but I think he definitely made the mark that he was aiming to do. I like that concept though. I might take that to my next uh, dinner with friends. <laughs>